everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on really one of the junkiest builds that I've ever done in my life. It's a real credit to my Yankee New England heritage. Uh, around here you'll see some old guy, and he'll, he'll build a shed out of an old bathtub and a dead cow. And that's kind of like the nature of what this is here. This uh, tarp that I've got over me it is something that I purchased for our temporary house. I used it to store firewood under. I knew that I'd be able to repurpose it later. This is its second incarnation. It's going to be a shed for all like the garden equipment and things like that because at the moment that stuff is all mucking up the, uh, the firewood shed. So what I'm working on right now is getting ready for winter next year because I can't fill up the firewood shed until I get all of my other gardening crap out of there and this is the place where I'm going to be putting it. Uh, I'm building this out of just a bunch of old pallets. Uh, these are just pallets that I'd inherited from my uh, my dad. He was getting rid of some of them. Uh, there are pallets over some uh, you know, just old pieces of scrap lumber. Again, it's a real Yankee New England kind of approach to this. Uh, but I'm going to be binding them together in a way that uh, you know is going to make it a lot less of a lot less of this and more like an actual floor, which is where River is over here, and he's working on helping with the black flies. So. Uh, I'm using these pieces of plywood. It's half in the plywood. Here for a minute. Whoop. I'm going to need some space. Uh, okay, yeah. It's half in the plywood. It's a little bit of a tight fit getting it in here. And what I'm doing, uh, I don't want to puncture this head here. What I'm doing, uh, there we are, is I'm making sure I lap the joints. Dropping it, River. I'm making sure that I lap the joints between uh, each of the pallets. Uh, so the seam between, uh, you can look them over here just so they can see better. Uh, the seam between these pallets and the ones behind them is right here. It's kind of in the middle of, uh, well not quite in the middle, but somewhere near the middle of this piece of plywood. And what I'm going to be doing is putting screws in it and tying this piece of plywood down to the uh, decking below and the plywood itself is going to act to kind of uh, bind everything together so that instead of having all these things kind of flopping around they're going to have one surface on the top that's going to kind of hold them a little bit better now um, i'm not praising this is uh, you know expert craftsmanship but i'm taking a bunch of crap and i'm putting it together so it'll be useful and this is the important part i could have uh, you know spent a lot of extra time building this uh, to be a, a more high quality structure uh, it probably would have cost time and i probably would have had to cut some of these things up, you know, uh, you know make them so that they fit uh, more perfectly. But the way that I'm doing this, not only am I saving myself time, I'm also preserving all of these individual um, building blocks so that instead of cutting them up and disassembling them, once I dismantle this, and I will be disassembling this and, and pulling this apart when I build a real tool shed later on, once I pull it apart, I'm going to have all of the individual pieces with the full integrity that they started with. And I think that's a really nice... Um, uh, it's a nice asset to have so that, uh, you know, I don't end up with just a bunch of the kind of scrap wood which ends up turning into firewood. It's all going to stay good stuff, although to apply the word good to any of this stuff I think is uh, a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. Get screwing these guys down. Yeah, I was just going to say is that the population doesn't seem like it's shrinking at all. I mean, it must be. It's, the number of flies that are here now is, uh, you know, exactly what it would be if you hadn't been killing it, except that there'd be a bunch of other ones too. So you must be making it better. And I see all the flies on the floor too. 